Hey guys, it's me Libby, and that's Harry. And welcome to our new segment called Checking In, where we go to weird, cool, <laughs> strange hotels and review them. This hotel is called Mon Chalet. We are not French. We are in, we're not in France either. We're in Denver, and this is a Swingers Hotel. hotel. <laughs> so, we don't know about the swinging stuff yet, but what we do know is from the pictures online, this place is wild. We're gonna go inside and, and take our first peep at um, at the room and see how it looks. I don't know what we're gonna ex what we're ex what we're gonna see. I'm not expecting anything fancy, but um, let's just go inside. Come on. Come on. Come on. It has a nice little porch, and it says welcome. And of course, I have my New Balance on because if anything goes down, I won't be ready. Wow. Hey guys. First impressions? Um, wow. I thought it was gonna be stinkier. I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't stink at all. And it looks really clean. Also, surprised. Well, I thought it was gonna be kind of dirty. My first impression is what's going on there? I've never, read, I've never heard of a place like this, so I wonder what the rules and regulations are as far as like it being legal or illegal. But yeah, this is a pretty crazy room. Never been in a room like this, I don't think. Wow, what's it. that? Look at this thing. Whoa. That hook. That's a, I know what it's for because I read it online. That's a sturdy hook too. It's for a swing. Wow. One of the features of this room is that it comes with a swing, right? And I'm excited about um, trying to get in the swing, but also I have to remember that I'm over 300 pounds. So I don't know what the weight limit it is. And I'm gonna go ahead and call the front desk. All right, there's no dial tone. Okay. All right, I am going to have to walk up to the front desk and um, which for a fat person is not really what I want to do. Let me just make sure. No. You know what I should have done? I actually brought Clorox wipes. Got the Clorox wipes. Gonna need them. We gotta clean up the hotel we're going to because we don't know how dirty it is. You know, when you stay at hotels, you don't know what they do there. So you have to disinfect. Not 100%, but 99.9% clean brand new bottle of Clorox wipes probably should have wiped that down my initial thought though is this place is cleaner than some other hotels I've stayed in that are big chain big chain ones Harry got this phone to work so I'm gonna go ahead and try to call it the front desk press always press zero hello do you know if there is a or what it is the weight limit of the swing Okay, thank you. Bye bye. She thinks it's 250, but she's not sure. And I'm gonna go ahead and say that I exceed uh, the weight limit on that, and you don't. So it looks like you're gonna be, <laughs> you're gonna be on the swing. 
Now this is where things go up a notch. Depending on your, I guess, the experience you would like to experience, depending on how erotic or wild you want to be, you have, don't know what this is. I mean, it's a sex swing, never used one before. So I say if it's your first time, take precaution and, and look, make sure you make sure you know what you're doing before you attempt to use something like this. You can... Clearly, do not know what I'm doing. So I have a feeling what happens if this comes this way. And do the legs? Go Maybe the feet go in here because. Here. Here. It's you spread it spreads now, them out. one this is uh you need uh you need somebody to help you I guess. Oh Okay, I'm doing something wrong, but I think that's right. I just think you need to hook it up higher on the chain. You're right. Oh, you're right. Do this first and then put my feet in it. But then okay. Well, this is definitely not made for uh, women of size or men of size. I'm doing something wrong, but <laughs> I feel like I'm rock climbing. <laughs> this thing is called the Liberator Wedge, and I should have cleaned it first before I touched it. It's pretty sturdy. Um, I'm going to demonstrate how I think it's used. Okay, so I'm out of breath from getting on here, but I'm using the swing as support. And then this just lifts my ass up in the air for deeper uh, penetration. Oh. 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 You can rent pool towels in the front for $20. If you don't bring them back, guess what? You just got yourself a brand new towel for 20 bucks a piece. When I looked online at this place, and by the way, the website is Moan dash chalet. I haven't seen a dash in an internet address since the 80s. But when I was looking, they had a picture of this thing called the love machine. And I've been looking at this thing for weeks because I don't know how to use it. So before I demonstrate, I'm going to go ahead and just walk, you know, walk you through wiping all the areas down. So this probably just had a back on it, I'm assuming. Oh, it moves. Okay, look. You can move this bitch all the way down. Wiping off this, because this is kind of in the shape of a butt here, if you see that. Many a butt has been on there. These are for someone to hold on to, I'm assuming. Let's go ahead and get these surfaces. Um, this, I've been looking at it for weeks. I don't, the only thing I can think of is someone would lay here and then someone else would be here to pe penetrate. But, to be honest, don't know. Harry. Ah. What do you, what positions do you think that people do on this? Well, I think that. Cause I'm looking at it and I. I, I, think, I think this is probably useful. I think, hold on, no, I think the guy probably sits, he sits here, like this, and the girl probably is like this, looking back at it. <laughs> My initial thought, I, I won't lie to you, like, this seems like, like a workout machine, like, you could just <laughs> work out. I mean, does this thing come with instructions? I don't know. It does not. I've searched everywhere. Um, like this, you know, her head's that way, her... Her lower body's this way. And that's probably why they have the mirrors, so she could look into the mirror. And he can also. And she can go, oi. Ah. Uh. I'm assuming, I mean, if people want to look at themselves. Or Whoa, look at even their, up there. Or look at their partner's facial expressions. I'm assuming that's why they have so many mirrors. So, yeah, I just see two positions. I don't know what other positions. Do you see any positions? Let me look. I'm sturdy, so it's going to be harder for me to get up on here. But my first initial thought was. Uh, oh god, I'm already having a hard time. Was like this, 
The guy would have to be really, really tall to get it in. Don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it is work. You ain't lying about that. I need a push up. I need a push. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. I need to put my legs. How does your back feel? Good. Feel supported. Ah. Oh. Somebody get me my CPAP machine quick. Give me a hand. You know what this is like? Getting um, a pap smear. You know what a pap smear is? And, uh, is that where they check your... Check your pee holes. Your pee holes. And your other hole. Oh, I'm getting it. Maybe the guy sits here. And I'm on the guy like this. Oh. <laughs> it might be too hot for YouTube. I honestly don't know. Besides that one. Hello. Come here. Come in. Come check out the bathroom. It's pretty cool. Alright. We have a black toilet. My thought is that... Black looks clean, so if it was white, it might have fluids on it or. There, there it go. goes. Just barely. Barely. So I'm gonna have to take this off here and lift this. Okay, this is totally broken. We're gonna need housekeeping in here uh, because that is broken. We need a couple screws and maybe a bolt or two. Hold on, let me see if I can fix it. Extra toilet paper because we do be wiping our booties a lot. In case you run out of toilet paper, we have a bidet. Again, we're not French, but let's say you take a big. <whistles> you can come over here and sit down on a toilet like structure. So that's good for getting your booty clean. We got a standard hair dryer, um, nice mirrored. Sink, everything's clean. Towels, regal color. And then the shower here, very small and almost like a, a casket. Come on! Come on! Can two people fit in here? Let's find out. Close the door. We're doing it. I mean, two people could fit in here, but... Are we comfortable? No. Look, shine over there. Shine, I said shine over there. At least the shower head and is clean. The, the, the shower head is clean because most of these hotels, motels, I notice, have built up corrosion or what, what's it called? Um, like uh, calcium deposits. Calcium, but it's clean. The real test should have been or would have been if we brought a black light. But then again, what, what motel isn't dirty, so... But this thing is, yeah, it's clean. I like it. I feel comfortable taking a shower in this by myself, but with another person, no, that'd be hard. <laughs> and I like that everything's red because everyone knows that red equals sensual. <laughs> Tell you this much the air conditioning works the heat um we haven't checked it but yeah the air conditioning works i'm assuming the heat works now this is an artificial fire but it does heat i see the coils in the back so there's coils back there so this is the so heater that's not real flames confirm no. that is not real flames is it yeah. hot no i was just scared <laughs> It is 10.30 and we have been relaxing, checking stuff out, and now we're gonna go to the pool area. Now the pool area is clothing optional. I don't know what to expect, so that's why I'm like, okay. Which means that you don't have to wear clothes, and um. Which means I'm pretty sure there's gonna be people that are naked, but. And maybe doing other stuff. So, so we don't know what to, what to expect, but we will give you our reaction when we come back. We can't take the phone in there, wish we could, because that would be funny. Um, uh, from, from what I read on the reviews, seems like uh, expect the unexpected. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. I'm expecting the unexpected, but um, yeah, I'm just going to, you know, to have a good experience and a good time. So we'll see what happens. And I'm nervous because I think I'm going to be the only fat lady in there. 
All right, we'll get back with you guys when we come back. Right, what time is it? It is. It's some. It's like uh, probably three seven. or four in the morning. All right. So, what's your first impression or your experience? <laughs> um, as you can see, my hair's wet, so I was in the swimming pool. It's a heated pool, which is very nice. How many hours do you think we were in there? <laughs> we were in there for six hours. I want to say six hours. Six hours in and out. <laughs> um, it was an experience. It was interesting. There was a lot going on in there. Um, um, Did you see anything that startled you? Nothing that startled me, but I was like, whoa, what's going on in here? Um, I will say that... Um, I seen a few things that were weren't out of the ordinary, but due to the place and where we're at, I was kind of surprised. They weren't out of the ordinary. No, it was out of the ordinary <laughs> for me. There was a everything from A, B, C, D, and E. So and just a lot of people doing a lot of stuff. And that explains why we were there for six hours. <laughs> Are they even still on? Are my eyelashes on? Did the other one come off? Yeah, the other one probably came off. Where is it? It's probably in the pool floating somewhere. <laughs> oh, I got one eyelash, so that's... Is it on me somewhere? It's probably How here. How are you going to let me walk around with one eyelash? You so... can't tell. So one thing, there, there's no lights in there. It's very dark. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow.